Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at using trig identities to help us integrate. Uh, before we start, we just need to make sure we're comfortable with these things here. Uh, when you use the compound angle formula, um, and then you set B equal to A, you get the double angle formula, which is this, um, and then you can rearrange it to get the cos squared x, and you can also take this one and rearrange it to get sine squared x. So you need to be very comfortable with uh, these two, either learning them or find it, being comfortable at finding them very quickly. You also have the trig identity 1 plus tan squared x equals sec squared x, which rearranges tan squared x equals sec squared minus 1. And they're very useful in helping us integrate powers of sine squared x and cos squared x and tan squared x. OK, so if I have sine squared x, I just substitute from the formula we were just talking about, um, a half 1 minus cos 2x. Um, put this in, and now this is something I can integrate. So 1 will come from x, and cos 2x comes from 1 half sine 2x, so when you have a constant times x, you just divide by the constant, um, and so we've got that half in there and half in there, so that gives us a quarter, and uh, when we integrate cos, it goes directly to sine and there's no change in sine, uh, and then we have plus c. And then we've got cos squared 2x, so this time we can multiply up these um, double angle formulas, and so where our x was just x before, our x becomes 2x, and then the 2 times x becomes 2 times 2x, so it becomes 4x, you see what I mean. Anyway, so we just integrate that, sorry, just substitute that into there, and again, this is something I can integrate, so cos 4x comes from 1 quarter sine 4x, so again, because it's a constant times x, you divide by the constant, cos comes from sine, and there's no change of sine, so the quarter times 2 gives you the 8, and then the 1 comes from x, and the half x gives you the half x, and then plus c. Okay, the third one we're doing is tan squared, tan squared comes from sex squared minus 1, we can substitute that in, and then hopefully you can remember that um, sex squared x uh, comes when we differentiate tan x, so when we integrate sec squared x, we get tan x. Uh, so that's quite straightforward, and then the minus 1 gives us the x, and then plus c. Now, if you have, um, <coughs> excuse me, if you have a question where you want to integrate something where you got a number of trig functions like this, um, in a bracket and squared, for example, uh, what you want to do is make sure you expand the brackets first and then go term by term. And don't forget, sec is 1 over cos, so that cos and that cos would cancel, just giving us the 2. So this is nice, and you know that you can um, integrate this, and you can integrate this, and you can integrate this, so this suddenly becomes much easier. So on this screen, I've just got some standard squared trig integrals, um, sort of just written out not the most beautiful of slides, sorry about that, um, and they might be helpful to try and screen capture and save them. Okay, hope that's helpful. Bye.